Hello everybody. Today is December 24th, 2017, and it is Christmas Eve. This evening, I will be showing you how to move your ADA token from an exchange to a software wallet. In this example, the wallet of choice is going to be the data loose wallet and the exchange of choice will be the Bittrex exchange. By the end of this video, you should know how to move your ADA tokens to the software wallet. So there's some quick background on what ADA is. So ADA token is a cryptocurrency that belongs to the Cardano blockchain. I personally have been following Cardano for nearly a month now and uh, I bought my first token sometime around then. I like the project, I like the vision that they have in place, and I think overall it can solve a lot of problems. Funny thing, like right before I was making this video on Facebook, I got an I saw an advertisement and it was one of those I, I hate them. It was one of those stupid ass Ty Lopez videos. And nothing against Ty Lopez, but the, his content just seems so dodgy. But uh, in his ad, he sounded like he was basically trying to shill the ADA token for Cardano. And as, I, as soon as I saw it, I, I really asked myself like 10 times, like, am I sure about this token? But then I was like, you know, I had this token way before I saw this sketchy ass video. So yeah, I'm fine about it. Anyways, getting back to our original plan. Um, as I mentioned, you're gonna know how you're gonna learn how to move your tokens to a secure wallet, and the wallet that we'll be using today is the Data Loose wallet. So you access that from this website here, and the first step you do is you go to this website and you opt to go to the download section. And when you go to the download section, you'll have a couple options uh, in terms of the OSs that you want to get the software for. So obviously you have like Windows and then you have Mac. So I have Windows. I went with Windows. I downloaded. The file and I ran the installation and I've already done that but I'll tell you what happens when you run the installation after you run the installation it's probably gonna take I'd say two to three hours for the wallet to sync to the block the Cardano blockchain so before you can even do anything at all it has to finish syncing to the blockchain once you do that it'll go it'll walk you through the process of creating a wallet and creating a recovery key uh, recovery key for those of you who don't know what that is it's basically I think like a 12 or 13 word password that you have to know or have if you ever need to recover your funds from another device or another um, like computer or whatever so you, you need to save a copy of that and keep it safe because if you lose it and anything ever happens to your wallet on any of your devices uh, and you lose those tokens you will lose them for good with that said I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of what that data loose wallet looks like. So I already created my wallet, Kamran's wallet. You can see your balance in, Cardano, in ADA. Um, <clears throat> you got the summary. You have the send section where you just put in the address and the amount you want to send. The receive section where you can see your address for receiving and transactions and your settings. So today we're going to be doing most of our work out of this section. And so the way you want to think about it is you are sending ADA from Bittrex to the data loose wallet. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're logged into Bittrex or whatever exchange you're using. So I'm logged into Bittrex. I have ADA here. And in, in Bittrex, the plus and minus sign mean two different things. The plus sign means you want to deposit more of a particular token into Bittrex. So like if I press plus on here, that means I want to deposit more ADA into Bittrex. That's not what I want to do. I want to do minus. Minus means I want to withdraw ADA from Bittrex and I want to send it somewhere else. So what I end up doing is I say I want to withdraw ADA and I have to indicate the address that I want to have that ADA sent to. So that's when you have to go back to the data loose wallet and you get this address from the receive section. So I copy it and I go here and I just kind of do a double check. So I'll double check that I pasted the right address. I see it starts with DDZF. If I go back here, it's you know starting with DDZF. This is just my own way of checking that I've copied the right address. Because if you do the wrong address, you'll lose your, your uh, coins. 
So obviously I have the right address. And my recommendation is you always do a test transaction. So I'm gonna test out a transaction by sending over one ADA to uh, my desktop wallet. So I'll click on withdraw and it, it'll ask you to confirm, you know, are you okay with the address that you're sending it to? Are you okay with the transaction fee? And are you okay with what, are, what you're gonna get? So I'm gonna get 0.88 out of this transaction. So I'll say, yeah, I'm okay. Hit confirm. So it looks like Bittrex requires me to be verified. So I actually can't withdraw uh, from Bittrex. So if this actually did work, I would be able to, um, successfully withdraw the ADA token and get it to my wallet. Now this brings me to my other point about why you shouldn't be keeping your coins on exchanges. So there are a few things that happen like on major exchanges that put your coins at risk. The first thing is your coins are always at risk of being hacked. So if somebody steals your username and password, um, they can log in and uh, send your ADA and send it off wherever they want to send it to and it's not hard to um, hack people when their username and passwords are stored somewhere online the second thing is um, if Bittrex as an exchange is hacked since their servers store all of your your passwords and all of your usernames people can just hack straight into there get all those credentials and start hacking each account individually and then the third thing is for reasons like this. So Bittrex for the last week has been having issues where like they can't verify people or they just can't support the amount of people that are trying to like buy and sell. And they'll have weird bugs like like the one I'm seeing here. So Bittrex is telling me that I'm having an un unverified account withdrawal limit that I've reached. And so the only way for me to uh, pull my aid out is to wait 24 hours or to have my limits increased by verifying my account. And in speaking with a lot of my friends, it takes like weeks to get your accounts verified. So why is this a problem? This is a problem because uh, Bittrex has control over my tokens and um, it basically uh, puts them at risk for being hacked. Don't mind this Facebook notification here. Uh, <laughs> so if you have your tokens on the exchange, basically then who gives a shit about what Bittrex says because your tokens are now on your own wallet. So this is really a key motivator for um, why you should be keeping your own coins on your own wallets. Anyways, uh, sorry I couldn't finish the full process, but literally I'm one step away from hitting confirm and I would have had the process completed. Uh, if you have any questions about how you go about doing this, go ahead and comment them in. If you've got feedback, you can share that as well. And um, if you want to keep seeing videos like, that, like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks and have a good night. Bye-bye.